guys and welcome to vlogmas day six i'm feeling slightly under the weather still so today's video is going to be some footage of cody and i decorating cookies over the weekend and thought i'd really quickly come on and say hello and open the advent calendars send you into that footage and then i'll tell you guys goodbye so we're also gonna skip uh wine and crafts today because I just don't feel like it. I started losing my voice a little bit today. It's just been, ugh. plus I didn't get home till six. Um, the, oh goodness. Um, I They shut down I-5 because there was a, um, a carjacker and a shooting. And so I-5 was shut down in Portland and it was tough to get home. So I didn't get home until like six. So from the Lip Smackers calendar, we got a ring, which does not fit on any of my fingers. <laughs> I'll give this to my cousin's daughter, maybe. But it's their Merry and Bright logo. It's just like, oops, just like a little acrylic ring. So I'll put that aside for her. I'm sure she'll love it. And then, day six from the Ulta ca uh, calendar is a mattifying face primer. So we'll try that one of these days when I feel like doing makeup again. I mean, I did makeup today, but I don't do full face hardly ever anymore. <laughs> so now I'm going to send you off into some footage of uh, Cody. I almost say Candy and I. We're the same person. Uh, Cody and I <laughs> decorating some cookies from a cookie uh, box that I got. And yeah, I'll see you guys after that. Hey, it's Candy and Cody. And Hello. yes, we're wearing matching pajamas. Yes. <laughs> and the bottoms uh, matched too. I know. Because I couldn't resist. What can I All do? she had to do was select <clears throat> the same thing, different sizes. <laughs> yeah, because Old Navy's great. Right? They have like full family jammies. They go from like little kid size all the way to We're not sponsored by the way. <laughs> no. Just, it's just good. Although, okay, <laughs> my friend that works at Old Navy messaged me yesterday, Denise. Uh, remember the slacks trousers debate that we were having? So she looked it up because it was bothering her. And it was bothering me too, but it says, although both trousers and slacks are considered pants, trousers is gener generally a term for pants that have a matching jacket. Slacks are dressy pants without being formal or do not have a matching jacket. Jeans, on the other hand, are just jeans. <laughs> so thank you, Denise. <laughs> we can put that one to bed. And now we know the difference between trousers and slacks. I'm also drinking out of my Hot Mess Express mug. I'm drinking tea because I have been sick. I got a cold from this guy. It was like a week ago. That's the weird part. <laughs> yeah, it, the worst part of it hit me yesterday afternoon and this morning. But I came home from work early. My lovely coworker um, said she would close for me. And I came home and took like an hour and a half nap. And I feel a ton better than I did this morning. So most likely uh, I'll get it back in a week and we can just lob it back and forth. Yeah, it yeah. sounds fun. Right? That's how you know. I think it's playing with one of the toys. We, we had a moment in bed. Do we want to jinx it though? <laughs> By talking about it? I know, it's just like next week you're like, she mauled him. He's dead. <laughs> well, she got in, like we were laying in bed watching a TV show and he had just got here and she comes up on the bed and she's sniffing around she lets him pet her pet her a little bit and then she climbed up on his legs like he was laying on his side and she sat there and she was okay for a little bit and then he tried to pet me yeah she went <laughs> just hand down like hand she just kept like pawing his hand down it was pretty funny i was refused <laughs> we had a moment though we did for like half a it second. worked harriet Hopefully. on the other hand still is like no not Actually, me. while you were talking about that, she was over here and sniffing my elbow. Was she? Yeah. No, she's over there judging us. We're having cat moments. 
Are, are you going to be loud this whole time that I start filming? You haven't moved all day. We're in the center of activity. <laughs> She's looking at me like, bitch, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's your job got to do with me? <laughs> this morning, I, I didn't have to be to work until like 9, but I still woke up at 5 because... Hmm. So, here's the best part of today. Uh, I didn't have to take the train to get yeah! here. Yeah! He got to bring his own car. It, it was only just a little bit of a journey by a car. And, uh, yeah. Um, hopefully I get to bother her more often. I'll be close enough she'll come bother me. Hang out with my cat. Yeah, they like me. My cats love everyone. They do. They're real good girls. I'm winning. Rude. He's got that on post. <laughs> no way! <laughs> He's always surprised at what I don't cut out. I'm like, they love seeing everything. Well, good to know. So, we're gonna decorate some cookies. I got this holiday cookie kit from Target. Do you call it Target or Target? Because I like them. <laughs> Depends if it's French or not. <laughs> French Target. Alright, so it comes with this which is the icing. I'm going to give this to you because you need to like knead it for a little bit to like warm it up. I am pretty needy. Hashtag truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's got uh, these sprinkles which have little gingerbread men and snowflakes and holly and candy canes. It's got red, green, and white jimmies. This is going to be crinkly the whole thing. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, this one has like... It looks like sanding sugar in white and red, but it's also got like little stars in it. You guys aren't going to be able to see that from here, but... Um, it looks really festive. Yeah. And then they also sent green, red, and black um, icing. <gasps> Are those the little Kool-Aid things? <laughs> they do look like... <laughs> the um, Kool-Aid jammers? What were they called when I was... Squeeze-its. That's what the squeeze -its squeeze -its. when I was a kid, yeah. That's right. Oh, boy. So then there's also 12 cookies in here, right? 12? Yeah, 12. So there's two of each. So there's two reindeer, stockings, gingerbread men, snowmen, little houses, and Santa faces. <laughs> do you want me to do it? No, I'm not doing it. I'm lightly massaging. Lightly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so stressed. <laughs> <laughs> he does give good foot massages. He's like uh, one of the first people I've ever let touch my feet. Like I said, I'm winning. <laughs> oh, uh, this kit was like $8.99. It was not expensive at all. Which means that the cookies will probably look better than their taste. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but it's Target! And they're sugar cookies, not like gingerbread. So, And then I got out my festive plates. <laughs> These are the nice ones. I'm sure my mom got them at like Target or Walmart because she loves to do that for us. Well, I did so good about the Halloween cookies. Maybe I'll just make all these like horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> True. You'll go Halloween just, on the Christmas cookies just, since you went Christmas on the I didn't Halloween understand cookies. the assignment. <laughs> I understood the assignment. <laughs> Ugh, God damn you, TikTok. <clears throat> You feel like that's worked enough? Oh yeah, you warmed yeah. it up nice. Good job. Yeah. What, what do you want to decorate first? Santa. I'm going to use this to decorate on. You can use that plate. Why don't you use the plate and put those back on there? Smash cut. Yes, I am. Because you had a good idea. I don't, it's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> You're right. How, How is dare me? you? I'm thoughtful. Oh, I think we're going to need skizzers. I'm going to start with a stocking. Do you think we're going to need... Is this like prep icing? you think? No, that's... Or just literally like single use? Yeah. So are you going to do yours red? Probably. And then you'll probably like do white on the outside. Yeah. 
I gotta get it. I gotta get his his bird. Let's see what this is gonna do. So I think he cut him too much. Should have left a little bit of a nozzle on him. They're not pulling very really good. Wow, so critical. Well, it's getting caught on the edge for some reason. Maybe they're not warm enough. Maybe we should warm them up in our hands a little. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's just being weird. It's catching on the edge. Why are you blaming me for everything? Rude. I was just going to start asking you nice questions about your childhood so we can relive that trauma together. <coughs> <laughs> Kids don't do that. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you about, like, your favorite Christmas. <sighs> you have, like, certain Christmas memories that you want to... I don't know if I have, like, any, like, crazy Christmas memories. Yeah? It was always just kind of, like, a family thing, but I don't think it was ever just, like, a full-on season. How about you, though? You're not like our family that's, like super into Christmas. No, I can I can say that that was I mean maybe when I was younger, but I can't think can't remember much of the details. It was always just kind of everyone was hanging. Well, okay. There I do remember being about 11 or 12 and going to uh one of my mom's uh boyfriend's family for for Christmas and they always had like the big get-togethers. Mhm. Mm that family was pretty big and they always kind of had their thing going. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember. Kind of the white. But I think that they kind of, everybody was talking to their own stuff and I was just a kid. I just wanted to be like, play games and eat food. And yeah. I, I think I was also one of the older children there. So I mean, like, I think that I just kind of hung out. Like, I think it was just another day that I got to eat different foods. Yeah. Didn't really like do the Christmas carol or anything like that. Well do you okay, so speaking of Christmas carols, do you have a favorite Christmas song? Are you into Christmas music at all? I think I'm out of practice. It's because um favorite song. I think um ch uh, chestnuts Chestnuts roasting no, what, is that? what is that song? It's called the Christmas song. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Was that Sinatra? Uh, Bing Crosby, I think. Oh. I learned something. <clears throat> Learning a thing. Have you watched White Christmas? Doesn't sound familiar. Oh my god, we have to watch White Christmas. And Seven. I'm probably going to force you to watch Rudolph. Yeah. And definitely going to force you to partake in uh, the night they saved Christmas, which is a little known. Well, I mean, let's let's talk about the fact like I loved those crappy little Christmas movies, but they were like they were very low quality at the time, but they've become beloved, like, like uh, Rudolph, Rudolph and, and, and my absolute favorite one of those was Santa Claus Comes to Town. Yes! It's just something about it that I could watch it a million times. I agree. It's a good one. And then... That cookie is very complex. I'm I'm doing it complex for sure. You are. Well, I finished my stocking. That looks really nice. <laughs> Put some sprinkies on it. <clears throat> I really like it. Put that over there. I think I'm gonna go for a gingerbread man. Just don't know how. Hmm. He's, there's no brown. Hmm. I wonder if I have any frosting in the fridge or in the cupboard. Well, I think you can make it a different color and it would look terrible. How would I make brown? 
I don't think it has to be like brown. I understand brown is the color of gingerbread, but maybe. Maybe it could be green. All right, so, favorite, so you've told me all the Christmas movies I should have seen. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, the Night They Saved Christmas. That's right. It's a little known, Christmas. like, back in the day, made for TV movie. Yeah. And it has Jacqueline Smith in it. They've heard me talk about it before. Um, it has Jacqueline Smith in it, and it's just, I don't know, I don't know if it's, the pure nostalgia of the movie, because the movie's not, like, great. But they save Christmas. Yeah, they do. And, um, I just like the characters in it, and I remember watching it with my grandma. So it's probably that nostalgia factor. That's a-okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think I remember for Halloween, you asked me what one of my favorite Halloween movies was, and... I actually did the research on that and found out that I didn't just imagine it. The Halloween tree was a real movie. Oh, yeah. You sent me that. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I didn't just, like, have a fever dream. This is a real thing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, when it comes to Christmas, it's, hmm. He so. did warn me when we first got together that I would be Buddy the Elf and he would be the Grinch about Christmas. I'm very out of practice. I don't think that I'm, like, grinchy about it, but no. I'm out of practice for sure. I just, it didn't become just a massive part of my existence. I celebrated it, but... Anyway. Um, <laughs> how's, you're just trucking over there, aren't you? I am not, uh... I'm trying to make this my, uh... What is that? Your ma 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 masterpiece? Mag your magnum opus. That's it. You know what Come I wanted to say. Of course you can. I just need a, a mouth. My opus. My life's work. This will be the cookie they remember me for. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee that Christmas Halloween cookie is what they remember you for. Hey. You know. As it outlines. You still remember it. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. Put that on the list. Uh, I think, I think we've discussed this before. Favorite Christmas movie? Die Hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. It counts. I'm not saying it doesn't count. What's your guys' opinion? Is Die Hard a Christmas movie or not? It's a major part of the plot. It, it is. It takes place at a Christmas party. It's centered around him coming home for Christmas. Uh, even later on, uh, when he takes out one of the terrorists, he, he leaves them a, a little note that goes, I've, I've got a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> you know, little, little things. Wait, what's what's the one line that everybody knows? Uh, the yippee ki -yay. Yeah. I was, was going to say, it's the motherfucker line. Yeah. I know all about that, Ben. See? That, that's, that's on my list. There you go. I'm there's there's your Christmas movie list. I think the second one happens during Christmas, too. Oh, I've never seen the second one. The first one is a classic. The second one... I okay. only watched the first one, like, maybe the, last Christmas? The third one is interesting, but... I think Xavier made me watch it last Christmas, and I was like, oh, okay. They're good movies. Yeah. But yeah, I think the third one was better than the second one for a sequel. Uh, if only for Sam Jackson. Oh, Samuel Jackson's in it? Yep. So let's, let's turn up the fun here. We're decorating cookies, but... What else do you think? I don't know. Are we mm. just chilling out on camera? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> So, is, so there's no real traditions or anything in your family? No, in this year especially, everybody's been a lot more dispersed. Yeah. And I think, I think a lot of my family traditions kind of died off after some of the, some of the relatives that were always like part of it 
never really found a way of carrying it on after they you know, passed away or something. Right. I think our, our traditions changed after my grandpa passed. We tried to keep them the same, but the family grows and like, you can't really, you can't really help it. Yeah. I mean, sometimes people want to start their own traditions. And, like, starting your own traditions can be... The first year is always rough. Yeah. So even you're just like, let's just do Christmas at home. And then you're like, this isn't the same. You're like, no, because that one's been the same way forever. Yeah. Hello. Hi, love. You can't have cookies. If you get a cat a cookie. Oh, my gosh. I love that book. And you'll have to get it a cup of, a glass of milk. A glass of milk? Hi, sister. I love you so much. And the cat won't want the cookie anymore. They'll just want the milk. Is that like giving away the milk for free? Uh, yes. <laughs> why, why, why get a cat when you can't get a milk for free? Can I have the green? No, I'm hoarding everything. No, it's mine. Well, okay, so if you Tis the seasons of giving. You don't have family traditions. What's something you would like to start? I I would like to be part of like that whole scenario I, again. I think just wasn't in the cards for a while. Yeah. I enjoy get-togethers. I enjoy cooking. And you know, I can chef like the best of them. You can. You got to come to Thanksgiving at my mom's, which was nice. And you'll Next be year, when I'm Christmas. established, I'm gonna I'm gonna Thanksgiving like you've never seen. What? Yeah, it's gonna be bonkers. <clears throat> I made a simple snowman. See, you're just crushing it. Oh, you're doing great. I'm 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 giving it texture. I'm gonna think outside the box. Me, I just love dad jokes. My favorite one is I at a grocery store. The clerk goes, you want a box for your groceries? And the person goes, no, can I just pay for them instead? Yeah. <laughs> Tell them the one that you told to me on the phone when oh, your boy. son was there and he died laughing. I can't remember it now. Do you have any of the parts to remind wow. me? Oh, yeah. Uh, was that it, though? Yeah. What do we want? Fast cats. When do we want them? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> and your son thought it was hilarious. He loves cat humor. He is a cat lover person. Yeah. I did it. It's finally done. See, look. Aw, he looks gorgeous. I really did it. You did amazing. I gotta put some sprinkles on him. Yeah, he needs a sprinkly beard. Mm -hmm. I'm not good with sprinkles. Like, I don't generally like to put them on anything. Really? You're bad with sprinkles? Yeah. That's interesting. I know, right? It was all... It's all a sham. A sprinkle-based lie. There. I did it. Good job, babe. Nailed it. Alright. What is it? I'm sorry. Are you? Y yes. Okay. <laughs> This conglomeration of sugar is delicious. So what do you want for Christmas? Uh, my two front teeth. You have those. Oh. I, I, I wanted my originals back. Oh, your baby teeth. Yep. Just leave them under my pillow. Okay. <laughs> I will work on that as your gift. You'd like either A, actually find them, or just like their kids' teeth. In the Your airport. mom probably has them in a box somewhere, and I just like uh, go find I them. I swear that I think she does. <laughs> My mom is one of those people. Uh, or 
like she kept the the pieces of bone that fell out of my head. That's all it is. He was a kid once, yes. <laughs> because if I came out like this, he would have died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, you would just detonate like, like a meat balloon. Ah, shite. Indeed. That too. Fudge. We're gonna need a medic! Just kidding. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna put a sprinkle over the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I just imagining, like, this is an actual, like, North Pole emergency? <laughs> like, just stitch them together with frosting. He's fine. <laughs> okay, so I took the reindeer cookie mm. and I turned it upside down. And I made oh, a ring. Oh, my God. With our initials on it. Oh my god. Look, alright, look, see, look, this is... What? That's what I did. How are you this creative? Um, I get it from my Aunt Shelly. <laughs> Something, man. Like, my Aunt Shelly is super creative. How do you even look at that? Oh, it's, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Blowing his mind, y'all. Freaking can't handle it. Okay, do you have favorite Christmas foods? Uh, I think they're they're we asked there about going this like you're wassle. pulling candy. You're trying to get <laughs> information. I'm trying to create art here. I'm I sorry. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> so to be on camera, you have to be able to be creative, mm -hmm. do the project, mm -hmm. and talk. We're doing so well at it. <laughs> Is everyone having fun? I'm having fun. <laughs> And then it's just like, and then the orcs attack. <laughs> just, just random chaos. That's all you need. I love that for us. Random chaos? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Another intrusive thought just coming in. Oh no. Yeah. Tell them about intrusive thoughts. Well, okay, everybody, well, most people have those little intrusive thoughts that are just like, you're minding your own business, and then you just think of how you could mess with somebody. Where most pra most pranks most pranks just come from intrusive thoughts, like wanting to scare somebody or wanting to, like, push somebody over, like, in a, wanting to snatch the chair from underneath them. That's all intrusive thoughts, and it's all, like... Nice, gentle stuff, but it's just like, I immediately had a thought about, like, I like chaos for us, and I just wanted to be like, flip the table. <laughs> like it, went, it went through my head, but it would be so horrifying. Tell them about muffin smashing. Muffin smashing's a whole bit, and frankly, if we could link the bit that it's from. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> it's a Bill Burr skit. Well, yeah, so are you going to try and, like, shoehorn it in, you think? Could you just put the bit right in the video? Probably not for uh, copyright reasons. Okay. Well, you might have to trim around this, because this is just one of those transitions. Basically, Bill Burr goes to a farmer's market yes. type thing with his wife, and he walks up to this table, and this lady is selling muffins, these beautiful muffins, and he automatically thinks... What would she do if I just smashed all these muffins? <laughs> just literally just, like, starts bashing them with his fists. And that's the intrusive thought he has. Is like, what what would she do? Would she stop me? Would she? Would anybody think that? Would this anybody is just think the, that it was okay? The like experience. Yeah. This is how we enjoy <laughs> them at the market. Yeah. Here's your muffin. Smash it and eat it off your hands. Yeah. It just it <laughs> cracked me up when Cody told me about it and. So now it's I think like, you were lost at first of what yeah. I was even talking about. And they were like, yeah, I have those. <laughs> yeah. We'll just be talking and be like, are you having a muffin smashing moment? Because you can like see it on someone's face when they're like... <laughs> it's mischievous. Yeah. What are you plotting? I'm plotting fun. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting ready for the fun. <laughs> we're decorating the same thing now. Are we? Yeah. Are you making your dream cookie house? Um, maybe. If you were Hansel or Gretel, would she be able to lure you in? I mean, it wouldn't take much. Just like some chicken wings and Diet Coke. No, I'm just imagining what that house would look like. 
A house made out of chicken wings? It would just be like Hansel and Gretel house, but it's like totally broed out. <laughs> it's just like TVs with football on them. <laughs> just like, we're like, wow, ever since I changed the motif, ever since I turned this into a Buffalo Wild Wings, it's been good, eat <laughs> been good eating. Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, God. Just needs to go for bigger targets. <laughs> I've only been to Buffalo Wild Wings once and it was on a first date and it did not go well. Well that's too bad because they are delicious but they it's an experience. It's kind of like going to Hooters. Where you're like yeah the food is good but when you realize what you're eating there it's mostly just a certain caliber of person. Yeah. And if you're not that caliber of person, you, it's kind of like, why am I here? <laughs> the food is good, but is it? What's funny, it, so there's a Hooters in Portland. I pass it every day on my way to work. One year, we took my grandma to the largest Christmas bazaar in the world. And it's at the Expo Center. Mm. And um, afterwards, we went to Hooters. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And so we, t we took my grandma to Hooters. Mm -hmm. And on the way home, my brother-in-law got super sick. Oh. And he was having so much pain. Well, it turns out he had a kidney stone. And we always blame it on Hooters now. <laughs> was it and a that's kidney stone? With the Hooters and you got a kidney stone? Or was it stone? a gallbladder attack? Because sometimes like Oh, maybe fatty, it was the gallbladder. Because fatty foods will do that I, if you have a bad I just remember he had to go to the hospital. That happened to me on uh, Thanksgiving one year. I had a gallbladder attack on Thanksgiving. It's because I ate so much delicious fatty foods and my innards were like, well, let's work on this. It did not work. <laughs> let's try to process this, but we ain't going to be able to. Have I had more medical moments than I care to remember sometimes? It seems like it. Like, oh boy. <laughs> Like I just forget, like, yeah, I made it to the other side of that. That, that there Cody got the sickness. Are you down with the sickness? Uh, no, you, you, you gotta get up and then get down with the sickness. Oh, is that how the song goes? Uh, I've been told. Yeah, I don't know the song. Also, you have to make a sound like a monkey. What? <laughs> That one? <laughs> wow, seamless. <laughs> David Dryman, if you if you're watching this, please don't sue. <laughs> uh, I was a huge Disturbed fan. Were you? In high school, I don't know. It was just the music for sure. I don't think I. I'm not even sure they were like dark. I think that he was just like going through some stuff. <laughs> and then he just like, it's like corn. Everyone's like, corn's so messed up. He's like, yeah, there's some darkness in there. He's got to get it out. <laughs> and he's made it into music. Everyone's rocking out to the darkness. Speaking of, you've been trying to get some of my Christmas stuff, but I want to hear about your Christmas stuff. Okay, what do you want to hear? I want to hear about your favorite Christmas memories. I have a lot. Like, my family really does Christmas. Yes, um, and I'm kind of excited to see how that's going to go down. Yeah. Um, every year we got together at my grandparents' house, and all of us would, you know, just just be together. See, you hit, that's the, the best part about this exchange to me, is how you're like, how come you don't remember all your like seasonal stuff? You're like you have the big Christmases, and your your story is just like yeah, we just do Christmas stuff. <laughs> I I don't know how else <laughs> to say it. Like we just be together. You we just you like functional families. I don't get it. Well, I mean we're not perfect, but we love spending time together. And honestly, perfect families are a sham. Yeah, absolutely. You, you think you have a perfect family, somebody is lying. <laughs> yeah. It's just figuring out on the other side. Oh, we're all crazy here. 
<laughs> We're all a little mad. Are you done with your house? I think so. You want to show our houses? I think I needed more colors to really do what I wanted yeah. to do. But So here's mine. I like how they give us like all these chimney. intricate designs and they're like, here, figure it out. With three colors. <laughs> you can do black, green. and Yours is cute. Yeah. Got a little gingerbread man on the, the roof. I got a little snowflakes on my roof. See, you figured that out. Yeah. I like it. <clears throat> I kind of want to eat this. We like, did great. Second. I'm just, like feeling snacky. Well, should we try one? I, we should probably end this video because we didn't talk that much. But. Hmm. Thanks for just kind of hanging out. Yeah. I well, the, I think we're just gonna have like the hot moments in this one where we're like yeah. decorating it. Uh, which one do you want to try? Um, I want to leave the Santa there. I really tried hard on that one. I think I'm gonna eat the house. Okay. I didn't. Re you really cranked them out today, sweetie. Like let's uh, numbers. Before, <laughs> before we eat one, Cookie let's numbers. take some pictures. Oh, they're so cute, babe. We really did good. We did good. Okay, so Your which one did you want to eat? Like perfect. He's cute. What the heck? Which one did you want to eat? I'm gonna eat the house only because I don't want to touch your the house. Santa. Yeah. Okay. I think so. <laughs> no, I want to eat yours. I'm going to eat my gingerbread man because he doesn't have a ton of frosting. Yeah. And if they've been watching me, they've been seeing me lick my fingers. So. Yeah, you've been having... Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Mm. They're not bad. This is part for the course, but they're not bad. Mm. You can tell that you didn't make them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can tell that they're like mass manufactured, but... They're not bad. They're not super hard either. Definitely kid caliber. Mm -hmm. Good though. Yeah. I do recommend the uh, the kit. It's fun. It's fun. For nine bucks. Just yeah. playing with frosting is fun. Mm -hmm. Plus you get to hang out with someone you love and Athena comes to visit. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Purring up a storm. <laughs> Look, I know we're adorable. <laughs> I really am like so glad you guys like him as much as I do. Uh, at least most of you seem to. Um, I think he's really good for me. Uh, he, he treats me really good and I think we get along really well. And he's just, he's good people. He's good people. Um, so as far as this week goes, hopefully we'll get some crafting done, maybe some more baking. Um, on Sunday, I am going shopping with my uh, sister, our friend Brenda and Brittany. So that should be really fun. We'll, I'll, maybe I'll finish my Christmas shopping by then. Um, I did a lot of it last week on my day off. Uh, I shopped online a lot. <coughs> I have most of it sent to my old work because I don't trust my house and I'm still like friends with my boss and my ex coworkers. Like I didn't leave on on really bad terms with anybody. I didn't burn a bridge, you know. So um, I asked him if it would be okay if I had a, you know, some packages sent there. And he's like, of course, we'll just save them for you and put them in the side office. So I gotta go pick those up sometime this week and yeah. So that's what the rest of the week will hopefully bring us. I'm, I'm going to spend, tomorrow I have the day off, I'm going to spend the day uh, eating chicken broth and drinking tea and taking medicine and hopefully get this out of my system and starting to to feel human again. No, I, I felt fine and I made it through the entire day but I did start to lose my voice and it just, I could tell my body is tired. Like right now it's 8.30. I'm I'm just like I don't know where those two hours went. <laughs> I mean I talked to a couple people on the phone, but that was about it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.